when you have a good connection, you can do stuff. If the connection is broken, you can't do anything. So that's where it is. And uh, that also means that when telecom firms build better networks, people want them. And we see in competitive markets that people flock to the fastest network. So in the Netherlands, we have cable in 98% of the households and DSL and an increasing amount of FTT. But where there's only DSL and cable, two thirds of the people go to cable because DSL is rubbish for most things that people want to use, particularly if you're further away from the exchange. And DSL is significantly declining in the market because particularly with COVID, people noticed I can't work from home if I have this DSL connection, particularly not with a family. So they move to cable. But when there's FTTH, people move from cable and DSL straight away to FTTH because it serves them so much better. You can actually have four people doing online classes at home and doing all kinds of stuff. And it works. And it has nothing to do with watching Netflix or all those other kinds of things. It is just being able to send a file to your colleague and not having to wait half an hour for it to arrive or to hear your wife scream because you send it. She can't do her uh, meeting online. 